Welcome to Pharma Center. Today, we are going to see some important MCQs in Pharma subject, in Pharmaceutics. We can get into the video. 21st question. Unequal distribution of color on tablet is known as Option A. Friability Option B. Mottling Option C. Orange peel effect and Option D. Bumping The correct answer is Option B. Mottling So mottling is nothing but it is an unequal distribution of color on tablet. Now coming to a 22nd question. Improper spreading of coating solution on tablet is known as Option A. Friability Option B. Mottling Option C. Orange peel effect and Option D. Hardness The correct answer is Option C. Orange peel effect So the unequal distribution of color on tablet is known as Mottling and improper spreading of coating solution is known as orange peel effect. Now coming to 23rd question. The sweetening agent used in vitamin tablet. Sweetening agent used in vitamin tablets. We can get into some options. Option A. Sucrose. Option B. Lactose. Option C. Maltose. And option D. Manitol. The correct answer is Option D. Manitol. So the Manitol is a sweetening agent which is used in vitamin tablet and also it is used in chewable tablets. Now coming to a 24th question. As per IP, that means Indian Pharmacopoeia, dissolution test apparatus number 2 is Option A. Paddle Option B. Basket Option C. Flow through cell and option D. Paddle over disc. The correct answer is option B. Basket. So basket dissolution apparatus is number 2 and number 1 IP dissolution apparatus is paddle. 25th question. Bloom strength of gelatinous. We can get into some options. Option A. 180 gram to 280 gram. Option B, 100 gram to 200 gram. Option C, 150 gram to 250 gram. And option D, 250 gram to 350 gram. So they are asked about the bloom strength of gelatin. So the bloom strength of gelatin is option C, 150 gram to 250 gram. So the iron content should be in 15 ppm for gelatin. Now coming to a 26th question. Alternate name of Avicel. Option A. Sodium starch glycolate. Option B. Primogel. Option C. Microcrystalline cellulose. And option D. Calcium hydrogen phosphate. So Avicel is also known as option C. Microcrystalline cellulose. So primogel and sodium starch glycolate comes under modified starch. And calcium hydrogen phosphate is known as encompress. 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 Okay. Now coming to a 27th question. Vanishing cream is an W by O emulsion. Option B. Oil in water emulsion. Option C. Water in oil in water emulsion. And option D. Oil in water in oil emulsion. So the, the uh, C option and D option is in multiple emulsions. And W by O that is water in oil emulsion is an example of cold cream. And oil in water emulsion is an vanishing cream. So the vanishing cream is an option B oil in water emulsion. Now coming to 28th question. Cold cream is an cold cream is an option A. Water in oil emulsion. Option B. Oil in water emulsion. Option C. Water in oil in water emulsion. And option D. Oil in water in oil emulsion. The correct answer is option A. Water in oil emulsion. So cold cream is an 
water in oil emulsion and vanishing cream is an oil in water emulsion now coming to 29th question which increases the flow property of granules option a lubricants option b disintegrants option c anti adherents and option d glidants so the flow property of granules is increased by option d glidants for example glidants example we can say talc carbosyl that are all glidants now coming to the 30th question heat transfer in solid is known as so heat transfer in solid is known as option a conduction option b convection option c radiation and option d fluorescence so the heat transfer in solids is known as option a conduction and the law which is involved in the heat transfer of solid is kirchhoff's law if you like this video share this video and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you